Ten man autopsy. Gas grenade. And muscle fiber density. Ooh. That sounds good. Synthesize a modified version of the poison projected by the thin man and ca and containerize it in grenade form. Confer superhuman leg strength, enabling the soldier to reach high positions without the need for ladders or other climbing aids. That sounds amazing. Let's keep doing autopsies because these are super quick. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. What should I do first? Let's check out the items. Flashbang gas grenade. Affects all targets in blast radius. Poison lasts one to three turns, doing damage each turn. Okay, but how much damage? One point, or what? I don't know, it sounds nice. I, I don't really like damage over time though, because usually you deal with this, you want to deal with the enemies quickly, not... You don't want to just like poison them and then run away. At least I don't want to. That's not a tactic I really would want to do. Kind of burning money here, I don't really want to do that. Because I really want to build some satellites. Alright, so it's eight bucks for one of these temporary boosts. Hmm. Let's buy one, just in case. J just one. I can use it in an emergency. Now check out the gene lab. Who would we want to be able to jump up and down? Definitely not Assault. Assault really doesn't need that, I don't think. So it would be pretty much any other class could potentially benefit from it, especially snipers. Especially snipers. Let's give it to, um, Isley. Yeah. Ooh, that is an expensive one. 25 meld. Enabling the soldier to reach high positions without the need for ladders or other climbing aids. Let's do that. Yeah. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Although, that does present a danger. In that, if she's anywhere really far up and away from the rest of the group, she could also potentially be easily killed by a Seeker. But, we'll see how it goes. Alright, my workshop and my lab will be done in one day, so I'll be able to build the satellite uplink. Oh, fuck, it happened right before. Ah, <sighs> okay. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Shit. Okay. I'm not doing this one. They have, like, no panic, and I don't need a new recruit. I really don't like the sound of very difficult. But they do have the highest panic. I don't know. I want the money more than the engineers because I'm about to have all the engineers I need for now. With my workshop. I want to do this for panic, but it's just very difficult. I don't know. Fuck. If I mess this up and my entire squad wipes, I'm screwed. They're gonna panic if I 
if I don't. But then again, Argentina, I think, is also going to panic if I don't. You know, I don't actually know how difficult, like, difficult and very difficult actually is, so let's, let's go middle of the road. I'll go with a difficult, but not very difficult, and we'll see how hard this is. If this is really difficult, then very difficult would probably be damn impossible. So, let's do this. Alright, we need the best of the best. So, Arrow is here, excellent. I think she's the highest ranked member, isn't she? Lieutenant? I think so. Alright, I need to replace someone with a sniper. I think Dresden was my highest, was, keyword is was, my highest ranked sniper. Let's give you the nanofiber vest. Who should I replace with a sniper? Honestly, I'm not even really using the sniper, that's the crazy thing. This early on, they're just... It's not really working. Because the whole damn movement restriction. Does anyone have squad sight yet? Or did Dresden have squad sight? I don't remember. Alright, well, Soul is just a squatty, so I'm going to replace Soul. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Spectre's wounded, and Isley is in the genetics lab. Well, no sniper for me. Alright, who am I going to go with? It's either another assault, or soul. I guess we're back to soul. I, don't, I really don't want two assaults. Or more than two assaults. Even two assaults might be too much. Who would I go with instead, though? It's either an assault, or... It's, it's gotta be an assault. Or a squatty, which I'm sure as hell not taking... Or not a squatty, I mean, uh, unranked. I'm sure as hell not taking a rookie on a difficult mission, so... Yeah, I guess we're going two assaults. Two assaults, two heavy, and one support. Wait a minute, who's here before? It was Wings? Yeah, it was Wings, wasn't it? Yeah. I do have a strange group of people, don't I? Got the Oompa Loompas and the purple armor <laughs> and Graves with the terrible beard. Alright, armor, 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 med kit. I think I'm good. Please don't die. Dear God, please don't die. Touching down. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Oh, it says, tip. Switching to a pistol is a good alternative when a soldier's primary weapon is out of ammo or otherwise unavailable. No, it's not, because pistols suck. Fuck the pistols. That is like a last, last, last resort. Operation Devil's Justice. Let's hope that's not as ominous as it sounds. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Well, assaults go first. Gotta remember, she has lightning reflexes. You have adaptive bone marrow. Okay. I really do want these meld canisters. Looks like we have a corridor type of design here. Sort of, a very large corridor. Seems like there's this whole side space here. Let's just move up for now. Affirmative. Remember, it's a difficult, it's a difficult mission. 
So I need to be careful. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. Alright, go ahead and move up. I've only got three turns. Leave you there for now. You're my heavy. Half cover. Hmm, I don't like that. It'll it'll be okay. Want a different angle on this canister. And M. Tyrone Moose M. Stomps around like a moose. And just like a moose, if you hit it with your car, you're probably gonna die. Oh my god. Soul is standing in a bunch of rats. <laughs> the rats are just clipping through the pallets. Look at those little things. I think those are rats. Or beavers. I don't know. There's something really weird about them. They're kind of like... Looks like they're made out of jello. And they're just kind of moving in a circle. Strange. I can't quite make it to full cover. Alright, I'll put you there. You need to be closer so I can make use of your run and gun. Moving to position. I suppose it's not really closer so much as just sideways, but okay. Right. I need to get someone here now. I need to get someone here this turn. So, they're gonna have to sprint. Just straight up, they're gonna have to sprint. Rapid fire. Did I actually choose that? I don't remember choosing that as a skill. Can I look at the skills? I'm confused about the skills. I, I don't remember choosing these things. I guess I just blanked it out. Alright, well if anyone can withstand their onslaught, it would be Arrow. Can you even dash? No, you can't even dash there. Does it have to be Arrow? No, it could be you. Or you. I could just blow them up. I could just blow them up. But that's kind of dumb. Killing two sectoids with a rocket. I, I should save her for something more important. Like Thin Men or something. Do I even have a shot on them though? That's the annoying part. I don't even think anybody could take a shot at them. If I sprint someone there. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. Where was it? Right... there. Boom! Sergeant M has earned a promotion. You truly do deserve a promotion, M. Tyrone Moose M for blowing shit up like a boss. Okay, now Arrow can safely move up. Unless there's a third sectoid? No, we're good. See, the thing is, if I sprinted her there, she wouldn't have been able to attack unless I run and gun, but that even wouldn't have really worked because I wouldn't have been too close to them, and then nobody else could have really taken a good shot at them. So she would have been kind of unprotected. Uh, she wasn't full cover, but... Nah, I'm more comfortable with this. I would put a sniper up there, but I don't have one, and there's no cover, so I'm not gonna go up. Running. 
Yeah, I really need to make sure Wings stays up near the front of the battle line so I can use her run and gun. I love her purple armor. It looks so cool. Okay. Who? I did not mean to open that. What the hell? Oh, shit. I did not mean to open that. I meant to click you and then click this. There we go. Okay, so are they here? Did they, did they get a free turn to move or what? Because I'd like to shoot a rocket in there. And just kill them both. No. Okay. Well, cover doesn't matter with them, and they're right next to me, so they're undoubtedly going to shoot. So I need to get everyone into a very close, like, very close to each other, in like a circle. And overwatch as much as possible, so let's do this. Like, cover doesn't even matter here with these enemies. We just need to overwatch. How does rapid fire work? I really want to know how rapid fire works. I don't think you can run and gun and do it. Take two shots against a single target in quick succession. I really want to know if you can combine run and gun and rapid fire. I don't think you can. Anyway, go ahead and overwatch. Let's just have everyone overwatch. If they come out, they are going to get blasted to hell. Just kaboom. Okay. The longer I wait, the more screwed I'm going to be with the meld canister, but... Hmm. Okay, I'll move everyone a bit. I'll, I'll start moving in the general direction of over here, because I don't think the, the other meld canister is going to be right behind here. It's probably off to the side. Yeah, not everyone's going to be in Overwatch, but it'll be fine. Ooh, what is that? I don't... Th no, I don't think that's one of the... No, it's not the color the metal canisters give off. It's one of these things. It's giving off green gas. All right, you're going to get two overwatches from this. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Come out of hiding. No. Oh, there's the melt canister. All right, they're taking their time, which is disturbing me. But I'm not just going to stay put and just wait for them. No, I've got to make some progress. Alright, I need some eyes on the situation. Which is a job for wings. Heading to that location. I need intel. Insight. Intel? Oh, fuck, it's those things. And she's flanked. Ugh. <sighs> okay, percent chance, 50... Hmm. Those things can land at any point on the map. They can just jet up. They have jetpacks. They're very mobile. Okay, I can kill the this one no no problem. What about the lower one? You have eyes, you don't, you don't, you don't. You could, you could shoot. I could use my run and gun. Mm.
Alright, how do I play this? I could also get, go up here and get a huge height advantage. Uh, but no. There's no cover. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You have hollow targeting, so go here. And shoot it in the face from a flanking position. I have four turns to get the meld canister. That should be fine if I don't get screwed by the seekers. Hi. Suppression. No. Goodbye. Alright, that takes care of my biggest problem. 66% chance. Not bad. Yeah, we got this. There's so many people I can move up and take a shot. No problem. 79, I'll take it. Dead. Good job, soul. Now we need some overwatch for the Seekers. Definitely need some overwatch for the Seekers. And right now my group is split up, so I need to move everyone to the other side. Get some overwatch here. And get some more overwatch. Got a nice big battle line. Alright, that's three overwatches. We should be fine if they pop up. Even if both of them pop up, we should be good. Oh god, more! Oh, three reaction shots though. Miss, miss, and miss! Three fucking misses! Man! I mean, two, two of them did have shotguns, to be fair. Okay. Is this a job for a rocket? Who has a rocket? There should be one person who has a rocket. You've used yours, so you. Can you shoot a rocket? You can. You know what? I need to take care of this. I'm just going to blast him with a rocket. I wonder if these things are actually stuff that you recover. Like, if I blow this up, do I lose recoverable stuff? I don't even know what this is. It's a, it's a thing. I, I can avoid it, no problem. Here we go. Goodbye. This is exactly what rockets were made for. Why, why can't I shoot? I was clicking, but it wasn't working. It's really hard to tell if it's... Are they in range? There we go. Excellent. They... Wait. Did they... Wait, what? Wait, there were Seekers down there. What the... Uh, I seriously fucking missed them? I'm not sure if I misaimed it because of the... Lack of depth perception from this angle, or if she missed, because it, it does say 90% chance to hit. So she might have been off. Okay, I killed both the Seekers, or just one? I'm so confused. I don't even know what just happened. But we need to do some shooting. Rapid fire. Okay, I, again, I would like to know if run and gun would combine with rapid fire. Because if it did, I could go right up behind them and shoot them both in the back of the head, but if it doesn't work, we're fucked. But then again, if it doesn't work, I could shoot them with many other people. Okay, we're gonna try it. I, I can back them up, no problem, so I need to know if rapid fire would work. No, not that. I know I could do a normal move, like to here in rapid fire. But can I run and gun? But allows you to fire, but not use items after dashing. Allows firing or overwatch after dashing. Hmm. 
I mean, it's not Overwatch, and it's not... F I mean, it's an ability that is firing. But this is the actual ability called fire, so I don't know. I don't know how literally they mean that. And I need to know. Now, I don't think it's meant f Ah, I can't tell. <sighs> okay, we need... I need to know. So, I'm about to try. Should I get really close? Or get into cover? I guess I'll get into cover, why not? Even though they could easily just shoot me anyway, still. Just in case anything else tries to come after me. Yeah, okay. Okay, can I rapid fire? You can! Okay, you can run and gun and rapid fire. Good. Oh shit, it's against a single target. Ugh. I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, hmm, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Still, 40% critical chance, that's nice. Up to 5 damage, so there's a chance it wouldn't kill if I used a normal shot, so I'm just gonna do rapid fire. Hold on, what's the one that people can hit the least? It's the one that's closer to the wall. So I'm going to shoot the one that's further away from the wall. I mean, th no, the one that's closer to the wall. So, that one. Goodbye. Yep, didn't kill it. There we go. Now, I could run and gun again, but there's probably no reason to. Where can I move you to where you'd have a shot? I could move you here. You probably have a shot, but it wouldn't be a good one. Eh, that's the best you can do. Okay. Could suppress it. Reduces its aim, takes a free shot off the target moves. Nah. Nah, 69%, that's fine. Excellent. Good job. Alright, this is probably going to be the killing blow. 89. Goodbye. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Alright, that mission turned out really well, but it went weirdly. But, okay, so... Difficult missions are not that difficult. I think I could have done the very difficult one. Alright, when I head back to base, I'm probably gonna be greeted by... a uh, What is it, Germany? That's gonna panic? Looks like they're really taking care of business down there. And without so much as a scratch. You bet, Dr. Shen. Has been promoted to... To what? To Lieutenant. Good job, Gideon Prophet Graves. Okay, so you are my medic. Revive. Allows medkits to revive critically wounded soldiers at 33% of maximum health instead of just stabilizing them. Honestly, I don't find myself caring about suppression. I really don't. I haven't even used it yet, so I'm gonna go with this because he is supposed to be a medic. So if anyone's critically wounded, I can revive them and they can actually get back into the fight, which could be very valuable. Soul has been promoted to Corporal. Bullet Swarm or Hollow Targeting. Okay, I made a mistake before when I was thinking about Bullet Swarm. Standard shots with the primary weapon no longer end the turn if taken as the first action. I believe what that means is that you can actually shoot twice during the same... Excuse me. <coughs> you can actually shoot twice during the same turn. I, I took it to mean that you could shoot first and then move, but I think it means you can actually shoot twice. I should have taken that over hollow targeting. As kind of nice as hollow targeting is, I don't think it's nearly as good as being able to fire twice. So let's go with that. I really shouldn't have taken hollow targeting. Hollow targeting would make sense if 
you were fighting a single enemy that had a shit ton of hit points. Because that would allow you to increase everyone else's chance of doing damage. But if, if you, like, did some sort of a calculation where you looked at... Like, okay, everyone has a plus 10% chance to hit. So divide all their weapons damage by... Or, or look at what 10% of everyone's weapons, all your squads, damage output would be. Whatever 10% of that would be would be the average amount of damage you're increasing with hollow, tar hollow targeting. If you look at that compared to Bullet Swarm, I'm guessing Bullet Swarm will probably just end up with you being able to do more damage. Most likely. Because most enemies die very quickly. You're not... You're not fighting an enemy that has a ton of hit points. So, yeah, that, that's my reasoning. Tyrone Moose M. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Tyrone Moose M. The Oompa Loompa. You are my heavy. What have I been doing with you? I did suppression. Which is probably better than the Shredder Rocket, because I don't really care about that. Confers plus 50% damage against robotic enemies. That is something that is irrelevant at the moment, but will become very relevant later on. So that would be investing in the future, sort of thing. Rapid reaction. Confers a second reaction shot if an Overwatch... If on Overwatch and the first reaction shot is a hit. Ooh. That's very specialized. That's unlikely. If I'm in Overwatch and the first reaction shot hits, which is pretty rare, most reaction shots don't hit. If the first goes through, then the second reaction shot will happen. That's not going to happen very often. Whereas increased damage against robotic enemies will become definitely useful later on, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the heat ammo. Oh, another, another badge of badassery. And now we can do a floater autopsy. Panic in Argentina, decreased by two. Increased in Africa and Europe. Wait, no one's no one panicked? We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, no one knew panicked. Or did they? I, I think they did, but no one screamed about it for some reason. Okay. Let's give the badge. Plus aim against enemies in full cover, which could go to pretty much anyone. I will give it to... Let's give it to someone who doesn't have a medal. Let's give it to Soul. There you go, Soul. For your valiant efforts. Good job. You represent me very well. In fact, actually, you represent me better than I represent myself. Because I'm incompetent. And you are not. See you three days for the Seeker Autopsy. That hulk of flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of human and machine? Will we see a line in the sand and refuse to cross it? Or will we move forward, willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of total victory? I have to believe that is not our future, provided, of course, that the alien's technology remains in the right hands. Hell, I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to beat the aliens. Even if it's completely immoral. Alright, workshop is almost done, and then I'll finally be able to build the satellite uplink, and finally be able to get more satellites. It's taken me an embarrassingly long time to do that. It's really bad. I really need to reduce panic. Okay, um... Still don't have anyone who is a captain, so I still can't buy that, so I think I just need to wait. Oh, there's where it shows the panic. Panic in Russia. Hmm. Panic in Germany. Mass panic everywhere. Wonderful. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them.
Oh god. Very difficult. Ugh. Oh. I think that was the introduction of the chrysalids. Which are creatures I really don't want to have to fight. I really don't. And of course, it had to happen right before I could build a freaking workshop and check out the mechs. Okay. I, I can't ignore it. I cannot ignore this. We survived difficult. We can do very difficult. I need my best people on this. Alright, we have Lieutenant M. Excellent. We have Swings, who's proving quite formidable. We have Graves, my main support man. We have Corporal Soul. A heavy and arrow, my badass assault. Has anyone come out? Have any of my snipers come out? Let's check. Nope. Damn it, I just, ah, I just need a couple more days. All right, we're going without snipers. I guess this is it. Yeah. Nothing to change. These are my best people. Two heavies, two assaults, one support. Let's go. Dropship has arrived. Oh god, this is going to be difficult. And I will begin the assault, the assault in just a second. I'll be right back. I am back. Let's begin the assault. I'm kind of worried about this one. We'll see how this goes. France is sending an urgent mission request. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Oh yes, that's right. I need to actually evacuate civilians. Hmm. That now. I'm pretty sure this mission, the longer you wait, the more of the civilians will be killed. They don't just stay there, just waiting for you to pick them up. They will actually be killed by the aliens, so you need to move fast. This is not going to be fun. Here we go. God, and we're going to have to deal with the freaking chrysalids. Those things have so much health. In case you don't know, they're actually melee enemies. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Wait, we've been given the green light? We're gonna be on steam? Oh, thank god. Oh, the increased exposure from being on steam is gonna be so nice. Oh wait, we're not talking about Steam Greenlight, are we? Oh, never mind. Well, at least there's some easy civilians. But, yeah, uh, the Chrysalids are melee enemies, which have a shit ton of health, and they do a shit ton of damage. The only good thing about them, I suppose, if you could say that, is that, well, since they're melee, they can't shoot you from afar. They need to get close to you. But still, if they do get close to you, you are fucked. They do so much damage. They have big claws. Let's just say that. There's one over there. <laughs> There's a civilian standing amongst pools of blood. That's not a good sign. Oh my god. So much damage. And so much blood. I have to question why these civilians would simply be standing around. <laughs> but anyway. I don't want to dash. Alright, let's just grab you. Go on, head to the ship. Okay. One out of 18. We're almost there. We're almost done. Alright, I'm going to leave you there for now. Just move up to the corner. Gotta take this one easy. 
really need to. I'm not going to be able to save every civilian. I'm not even going to try. Let's... Should I dash? I need to be in cover. Yeah, I'm going to dash. Might see some aliens here. Yep, here we go. Okay, they're not chrysalids. They're... What were they called? I don't remember what those things are called. Can I even get a shot on them? No. Crap. I, I, ha I literally have to dash to get into cover. That is not good. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That wasn't a dash? I thought that was a dash. Huh. Okay. 35% chance. That's bad. I could just suppress it. Reduces the target's aim. That might be better than a 35% chance. It really might. It isn't full cover, after all. How much, how much does it reduce the aim by, though? It doesn't say. Hmm. I don't want to go into half cover. I really don't. There's really nowhere else I could put them. Where can I put you, soul? Let's put you there. Okay, yeah, let's just let's just do suppressing fire. Also increases the chance for other people to hit it, so that's good. And you should definitely overwatch. The same with you. You guys wanna pop out here? Good luck. Oh fuck, there's some chrysalids. Oh my god. Please hit them with the reaction shots. Okay, five damage. Good. Oh, God. Is it, can it attack this turn? I don't think it can, right? Reaction shot. Okay. Okay, three damage. That's good. That's good. Didn't kill it, but it's good. Where are you going to pop up? Where are you going? Oh, I guess it flew away. What the? Oh, that's one of the civilians. <laughs> one lost. It just got blasted in the head. Okay, so there's still two of those things there, and we really, really need to take care of this, these chrysalids. I believe that one looks like it's gonna kill a civilian. As much as I'd like to avoid that, the life of my own troops is vastly more important than that civilian, I'm sorry to say. It is. Okay, rapid fire is the thing to do here, I think. Or is it? Actually, maybe not. It, it might not be. And here's why, because I might be able to save both a civilian and her. Okay. Oh shit, you're- Ah, oh, fuck, you're out of ammo. Because that's suppressing fire. Okay, you probably can't kill it. Okay, I can get three shots off on this chrysalid. But I can't get very many get very many off on that one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Alright. You kill that son of a bitch, it's guaranteed to die. I actually probably should have moved close enough to save the civilian, but... Oh, well. And now we're going to kill you. I should probably move you up. Yeah, let's let's move you up. Okay. There we go. 100% chance. Yeah, they have a lot of health. Andando. 
63, not bad. And you missed. Did you just destroy her cover? Great. Now, now Wings cover is, is half. Half cover. That's wonderful. Graves, it might be up to you. Am I going to have to put him out in the open? Kinda. I mean, co cover means nothing to the Chrysalids because they're melee attacks, so really, I'm only taking cover for those jump jet things. I can't remember what they're called. 79, come on. Okay, here we go. Whew. Got it. Okay. You obviously need to reload because you can't, you can't do shit. You should be in cover, though. Before reloading. Unfortunately, we have no overwatch. They're probably going to jump right behind us. Just launch down. No, no, they didn't. They're just eating the civilians. Alright, which way do I want to go? I kind of want to continue down the main path. Actually, no, I don't. No, let's, let's go over here to the right. Because there's more places to take cover here. If I continue down here, I'm going to have to funnel all of my people in. To just, like, one place. Hold on, let's take a look here. I'm going to do this to grab the civilian. Okay, you're good. And now, why don't you run here? You can go here, save that civilian. And go over here. You're in half cover, which sucks. I need the civilian, though. Alright, four saved, two lost, not bad. Let's get my assault troopers over here. I don't want to rush this, I really don't want to rush this, just to save civilians. Not worth it. There's a civilian over there. Where would the enemies be? Hmm. I'm gonna move them around to go around to the right. And you need to get somewhere. Somewhere good. You also go to the right. So we're gonna surround this building. Gonna come in here from three different places. Let me guess, another civilian's gonna die. There's something out there. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 what the f <laughs> Fuck! Wings! God damn it, a critical hit! And by this fucker with one hit point! Gah! Son of a bitch. <sighs> Keep getting fucked by criticals. I was in full cover, but it doesn't even matter because it just jumped behind me. That's why you want Overwatch. God damn it, that's why you want Overwatch. I should I should have left some people on Overwatch. Even though they weren't in ideal positions, just having Overwatch to protect that from happening. As soon as I saw that action cam when it went to shoot, that that tells you that something bad's about to happen. When you see that action cam, that means something's gonna die. God damn it. Alright, well that pretty much guarantees a kill. Alright, just take the shot. That one's for wings.
Alright. Need overwatch. Don't sprint people everywhere. Need to keep some overwatch. And you are kind of out in the open. I don't like that. I want you inside. Oh, great. Hey, looks like they're inside of a building. They probably can't jump up, right? And you're being flanked. And you are the only person who can do anything. Literally, no one else can shoot. <sighs> Wings is just a blood splatter on the ground. Alright. And you can't fire a rocket because you already moved. It wouldn't even matter. There's only one enemy. I kind of want to just get her the hell out of here, but... I can only get her in a half cover, but still, it's better than flanked. What's your chance of... That's... 48% no. Okay, you two are on Overwatch, so I'm going to move you here. If you want to kill... If you want to kill... Kill her, you're going to have to work for it. Because you got two Overwatches coming. Don't you be killing civilians. Here we go. Come on, Graves. Come on, Graves. Oh. Well, that civilian's dead. Right, they're kind of far back there. I need to move in. Now, I can't move to the square that the civilian is on, unfortunately, because that's exactly where I want to go. Can you do anything? No. Alright, let's just... Uh, she only has one shot, though. She kind of needs to reload, but we'll do that later. Just uh, save the civilian and get behind cover. Get into the fight so I can use her next turn. Fifty-nine, that's not bad. Actually, I should probably just save this civilian. Would I still have a shot? I probably would. There you go, you're good, man. You're good. Fifty-nine, that's the same percent as before. I'll take it. Two. That's not very good. But it's something. I just want to blow that piece of shit up with a rocket, but that'd be incredibly wasteful. I could just suppress it. Until she can do a run and gun. I don't know if I'd have a shot from here. I probably wouldn't. I want to move here, but I'm going to be dashing. 50% or suppress. I'm gonna take the 50%. Oh, I should, oh, I should have done that first. It was hollow targeting. But anyway, it's dead. That's all that matters. Alright, there's one more over there. So I'm gonna put you into Overwatch. So if it decides to pop up, hopefully it'll die. Hopefully. Here we go, Overwatch. Come on, Overwatch. And it's another miss. You can't do shit from there. What are you gonna do? <laughs> it's not even in cover. What an incredibly stupid alien. 79% because it's not in cover. Yeah, just take the shot. Dead. Excellent job. Okay, I need to reload my troops. Let's push up a bit and reload. Because most of them are running on fumes.
No, maybe I should have done some Overwatch. <laughs> you have literally no ammo. You could throw a smoke grenade, though. That actually could be very good, because they're both being flanked. But, no, we got this. We totally got this. How often can I use rapid fire? All the time? Does it have a cooldown? I can't tell. What does it say? Two turn cooldown. Rapid fire does not seem to have a cooldown. Okay. Good to know. So there's no penalty to using it. I mean, there's no reason to, like, save it. I could just blow it up by doing a running gun and then a rapid fire. <laughs> it might be kind of over the top, though. I could probably kill it with my other people. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's let's try to kill it with my other people without burning that. It's hollow targeting, so that'll increase the chance of hitting it. They got deep shot. You are out of ammo, so you are useless. Let's... Oh, can I even get you in full cover? I can't. I'll save you for now. Let's move you here into full cover. 43, I'll take it. Well, I think I'm gonna have to use my running gun. Actually, I literally... Yeah, I literally have to. Okay. Here we go. Badass mode initiated. Up to five damage. It could potentially... Do le yeah, there's no reason not to use rapid fire to do this, because again, there's no cooldown, so let's just do that. That guarantees death. And it's an 80% critical hit chance. You're dead. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. <laughs> XCOM operatives lost. One. Result? Or rating? Good. No. That is not good. Fuck. Well, I say 14 out of 18 civilians. That actually is pretty good. No offense to the civilians, but I would have traded all 14 other ones to keep my one soldier alive, but... Just, just don't tell them I said that. <sighs> we must hold a memorial. For wings. Killed in action. The Council Medal of Honor is now unlocked. Shoot better across, and a superior healing medal. Chrysalid autopsy. At least something good came of this. Panic in France, decreased by four. Panic has decreased across Europe. Excellent. We will be watching. Sire thinks, oh wow. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Yes, they will. Okay, so that took care of my huge problem I had in Europe. Had like four different places that were in the red. Good. Okay, let's give out the medals. Let's see, heals two more hit points when used on the soldier. Doesn't really matter who I give that to. As long as it's not a sniper, because again, the snipers are the ones that are least likely to take damage. So, let's give it to John Smith. I, yeah, I need to train more troops. I really do. I'm running out. Yep. For your excellent service. Good job, John Smith.
shoot better across. Plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. Who do I give this to? Let's give it to Spectre. To improve your aim with your sniper rifle. I'm sure you will make good use of it. You have served me well so far, Spectre. And the Council Medal of Honor. One aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier deaths, up to a maximum of 10. That could be very good. 10 aim and critical hit chance if not within 7 tiles of an allied unit. Not within 7 tiles. Hmm. That might be good for a sniper, but... Because of the Seekers, which make keeping a sniper far away from the rest of your group a bad idea, I'm not sure if that's ever going to really happen very much. Seven tiles. How likely is that? I don't know if that's very likely. I'm going to go with this one. Who should I give it to? Well, everyone has a medal who has a rank. Uh, let's go ahead and give it to Arrow. Yep. You deserve it. You have ex served me extremely well. You have lived through two of your comrades' deaths and have persevered. Good job. So what should I do now? Research. I don't hmm. Why use such advanced technology against innocent civilians? Because the aliens are assholes, that's why. Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Workshop is still not done. It should be done in probably about a, as soon as I press the the uh, past time button or whatever the hell it's called. What is it called? Scan for activity. Mm. I could spend a little bit of money. Kind of want a flashbang. It says any enemies that can see the blast will be disoriented, so I'm assuming that does not apply to friendly units, right? Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'd have to take it instead of armor, though. No. I'm not gonna take a flashbang instead of armor. That's insane. 